Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and today we're going to take a look at two new units from Delec. Now, we featured these on Pro Tools Expert a little while ago, because in our discussions we've been looking for some basic mic pre and headphone amps that we can put into a remote studio on a Dante-equipped network. So this will be two videos. The first video will be my experiences of getting to grips with the Dante network, and all the appropriate software. And then the second video will be a closer look at the two Delec units, the NI0204 and the DIO. So back to Dante. Well, the first thing that I chose to do with my system here, because I've got Pro Tools HDX, I've got a system that has an HD Omni that I'm using for my monitor controller. And then in the computer cupboard, I've got my HDIO, which I use for additional I.O. to connect to other items. And so what I've done is I've unplugged my HDIO, unplugged the Digilink cable and the LoopSync cables, and plugged that into a Focusrite RedNet 5. And of course, that's given me access to the Dante network as a Pro Tools HD compatible interface. And so if we go into the Pro Tools hardware unit, you can see now that I've got my HD Omni, but I've also got this HDIO, which is actually the Focusrite RedNet 5. And then here on my laptop, I'm running the Dante controller software. And I'm in the routing page, and you can see here that we've got this section here with all the receivers. That's the inputs, if you like, to any Dante equipped unit. And then across here, we've got the outputs. So you can see that I've got the Delec units, the 0204 and the DIO, and we'll have a look at those much more closely in the second video. And then I've got all the IO relating to the RedNet. And the thing about the Dante controller here is you can set it up so you're using it like a matrix. So here are uh, on the transmitters, so the red net outputs, I've taken outputs one and two, which uh, are coming from my Pro Tools rig, and I've routed those into inputs of both the 0204 and the headphone inputs of the DIO. So my Pro Tools output is now picked up so that if I'm in a remote studio, I can plug my headphones into either of these units and hear the output of my Pro Tools rig. So if we look at the DIO, you can see here that I've taken the mic out of the DIO here and routed that into inputs three and four of the RedNet 5. And so if you look on my Pro Tools rig, here, if we look at the routing, you can see that I've renamed them to the two relevant Delec units so that I can easily just pick those up. And as you can see on my Pro Tools rig, it's picked up the mic that's plugged in to, in this case, the 0204. Just moving across the Dante controller software, we've got device information. So the three devices that are connected to my manage switch. And then we've got clock source. And I have determined that the master clock is going to be my RedNet 5, which of course is being clocked from my Pro Tools rig. And then the two Delec units are being slaved from that master clock all over the Dante network. So I've got no worries about clocking. We can check the network status. You can see because I'm using a managed one gigabit switch, everything's running at one gigabit. We can check and the latency settings. So because I've only got one gigabit switch, I've been able to push the latency of the RedNet 5 right down. And in fact, if we go into the device view, we can then go between the different units. So from this menu here, I can select the different units. We can see the status. So we can see the IP address. 
and here on the device configuration we can set that latency so again because I've only got one switch I've set it right down to 150 microseconds the general default settings is one millisecond which you could have up to 10 switches or be running a gigabit network with some 100 meg elements to it now coming back to the switch the switch the bit that joins all Dante equipment together is really important you can't use any old bit of Ethernet technology on a Dante network the good news is you can run a Dante network with mixed content so it doesn't just have to be an exclusive audio network the other good news about Dante is you don't have to use dedicated hardware to do the Ethernet switching and in this case I looked at the Focusrite compatibility lists for an appropriate gigabit switch and I went for the Netgear ProSafe 24 port managed gigabit switch and as soon as I connected all the elements together I didn't have to do any configuration just set it all up and away it went but when I did initially try it on my home network here which is actually a hundred base T network none of the software worked none of the units talked to each other so a key part of getting a Dante network running is to use gigabit managed switches in your network so here at home what I'll be doing is taking out my 100 base T uh, switches and putting this gigabit switch in that way I can use Dante anywhere in the house and easily pick up a mic and a headphones wherever I've got an Ethernet port as well as being able to use all my normal internet and file server networking all across the same hardware which again I think is one of the really good advantages of using a Dante network another little neat part of the Dante controller is actually when you especially when you're fault finding having these uh, signal indicators so you can see here I'm talking and so I've got some audio indication and, and that really does help in the process of actually fault finding and checking through so again I could go and have a look at the DIO and you can see here that there is the mic preamp leaving the DIO and again I've got that same confidence that I've got audio leaving and then we can go back to the main window look at the routing and again we can see all the different elements of the routing so I hope that's been a useful insight into my experiences of setting up a Dante network to review the Delec NI024 and the DIO units and we'll be taking a closer look at those in the second of these two videos. I'll see you again soon.